It is a beautiful day here in St. Pete. No, I thought we were done with this place. High fly ball. Bader on the track at the wall. See ya. Rounding the bases, a Rosarena stops at third and does that? Is that something he usually does? The only reason I ask is because the Yankees dugout's on the third base side, not the Rays. Contact. That is not soft contact. Deep to center field going back. Bader on the track at the wall. See ya. Fast forward to the third. Tampa has something going. Here comes Randy. Blake with a trip to the mound. He's here tonight, so we want to send our best wishes as a Rosarena gets plunked. Well, we know there's been some bad blood between these teams in the past. Every year is different. And that's a veteran umpire move. <laughs> yeah, look at his face. You can just yeah. tell. Like so that's Rosarena's next at bat. We move on later in the bottom of the third inning. Let's see if they can turn two. There's one. Oh. Not in time. Figure out how Rosarena ended up where he ended up well beyond second base. Randy was trying to peel off and kind of hip check right there. This is not a bona fide slide discussion. We are just trying to establish the potential bad blood that leads up to the fifth inning. Got to be in there by eight. And he's not. Yeah, at eight seconds, not ready. Of course, we had to sneak a little pitch clock violation in there, too. Here's the Randy Rosarena at bat. Oh, and now, here we go again. Here we go again. Rosarena gets hit for the second time. Yep. There it is. And he got him right in the ribs. I'll tell you, that hurts. And you're talking 97, 98 miles. Well, now the umpires are deciding what to do. Should they issue warnings? The first pitch. Yep. First hit pitch of the AB. And he's really not happy about that. And the Rays will not be either. He doesn't seem any too pleased. The Yankees are going to say we did not do anything wrong. We didn't hit him on purpose. A couple of pitches got away from a young righty and Brito and a brain. Umpire Merzel with the bat save. I digress. If you're an umpire, what do you do in this situation? We've seen bad blood through the years between these two teams. Two options if you think it was intentional are eject or warn. Can't eject if you don't have intent, but you can warn for any reason, so even these two coaches yelling in the dugout can justify a warning. But let's be honest here. Do nothing and issue warnings, cash will be ejected. Eject and Boone will be ejected. Uh, a warning was issued to both teams, so that kind of takes it away from Tampa Bay, the ability to retaliate. That's kind of the reason the entire warning rule exists. Cash is saying, well, if you think he did it on purpose, then throw him out. Don't issue a warning, throw him out. And now, Cash apparently has been ejected. It's an automatic ejection for coming onto the field to dispute this, so that's why Cash is gone, but it's a no-win situation. I mean, I don't know what could be more blatant. Yeah, the umpire's got to do a better job than that. All right, you be the ump. What would you have done? Would you have ejected? Was it on purpose? Would you warn? Do you not know? The Yankees think it's clean. The Rays don't. You gotta decide.